reasons not to eat healthily, and things that don't matter. In this week's nutrition videos, I'm gonna cover a number of reasons that people might give for not eating as healthily perhaps as they might like, that can have some degree of validity to them. They are things that are genuine reasons, at least in some situations. What I'm also gonna look at is what we can do that then negates that reason. So I'm not gonna pretend it's not a thing, I'm gonna look at a version of that thing that you can do that negates that reason in that particular case. But before I get to that, I'm gonna cover a number of things that actually aren't reasons. Things that we might say or think or believe as justifications for not eating healthily that aren't really valid, that hopefully I'll help you question now. And these are things again that I hear on a regular basis. We might say something like, oh, I'm just gonna burn it off. And as I've covered many times, exercise is spectacularly ineffective from a, from a calorie burning perspective. It's great for making us feel better, mood, mental health, aches, pain, energy levels, fitness, health, all that kind of stuff. It's amazing for that. It's rubbish for calorie burning. So the concept that I'll burn it off later, I don't think is a particularly good reason. Second thing we might give is the time of day. So we might get in our head that we have to eat three square meals, we shouldn't eat past a certain time, and then when that doesn't happen, it's a justification for even further overconsumption. And it doesn't matter. All the research shows it's the total of what we do in the day, the week, the month, and how that compares to what we actually need that dictates what then happens. If we were to eat one big meal at 10 o'clock every night, but we were to eat in a calorie deficit, we would lose weight at exactly the same rate as if we ate six meals in the day at the same level of calorie deficit. Now maybe, in some cases, we find one of those options easier or harder to do, but that doesn't mean that because of the time of day, we've automatically failed and can't eat healthily. We just need to find the version that we can do. And the final one is that it's more effort. And maybe, in some situations it can be, but it doesn't have to be. We can eat better than we are now with less effort. And making a tactical decision as to how we can do that is what makes the difference. And now over the course of the next four days, I'm gonna cover some of those reasons that perhaps are more valid, but again, ways of approaching that that negates that validity.